sin 12 degrees multiply with sin 48 degrees into sin 54 degrees. We have to prove that that's equals to 1 by 8. Now sin a into sin 60 minus a into sin 60 plus a equals to 1 by 4 sin 3a. Now we want to know how this formula is derived. You can check the videos exactly one hour, one and a half month back we have worked on this particular video sin a into sin 60 minus a into sin 60 plus a equals to 1 by 4 sin 3a. Now let us consider a equals to 12 degrees. We see that part of this formula is available here. So we have sin 12 degrees into sin 60 minus 12 degrees into sin 60 plus 12 degrees equals to 1 by 4 sin 3a that is 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees. Can we simplify that? We can write down in the next step sin 12 degrees multiply with sin 48 degrees multiply with sin 72 degrees equals to 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees. So can we say that sin 12 degrees into sin 48 degrees equals to 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees divided by sin 72 degrees. Now what we want is sin 12 degrees into sin 48 degrees into sin 54 degrees. So let's multiply with sin 54 degrees. So LHS now will be equal to 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees divided by sin 72 degrees multiply with sin of 54 degrees. How can we write down sin 54 degrees? We want to change that into 36 degrees. So we will write it as sin of 90 minus 36 degrees so that it will become cos 36 degrees. So in the next step where we do that we'll have 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees into sin 90 minus 36 degrees divided by sin 72 degrees which will be nothing but equals to 1 by 4 into sin 36 degrees multiply with cos 36 degrees divided by sin 72 degrees but we can write 72 as 2 into 36. So we can say sin 2 into 36 degrees. In the last step we will have 1 by 4 into numerator sin 36 degrees into cos 36 degrees divided by sin 2a equals to 2 sin a cos a and here a is 36 degrees so it will be 2 sin 36 degrees cos 36 degrees. Everything cancels out leaving us with 1 by 4 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 8. So sin 12 degrees multiply with sin 48 degrees multiply with sin 54 degrees that's how it is equals to 1 by 8.